They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Close your file, you rebel, you more than one together. However, you go ever and ever after. We definitely should have found the forest fest by now. Let's all just take our mind off of our situation and think about other things. Ooh, boys! That's exactly what I was trying not to think about. I forgot Dexter was taking Raven to the movies tonight. Who knows? Maybe it won't go very well. I think I'll wear this bracelet. Or, um, maybe this ring. Oh, this necklace would look nice. It's a night at the movies, Raven, not a final exam. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm way more nervous than I expected. I mean, this is my first actual date with Dexter. He's here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that wood was your head. I, I mean, the door was your head. I mean, have some flowers. Thank you. They're, um, beautiful. I forgot. Dark queen, flowers, ah. Uh. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just put them in some water. I'm so clumsy. I am so sorry, Dexter. No, no, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It's totally my fault. Really, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry that you're sorry. <sighs> this place is really fancy and, um... Maybe we should just go sit down. Watch your feet. Ow! How did I even do that? Should I get some snacks? I should get some snacks. <laughs> no, 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 I should stay. No, I should probably get some snacks. Uh -huh. want snacks? I want snacks. Uh -huh. Now I need to go to the bathroom. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Raven? Dexter, I've got a confession to make. I am, like, really super nervous. You're nervous? But I'm nervous. We've got something in common. <laughs> so really, there's nothing to be nervous about. Let's just be ourselves and enjoy the evening. But Raven... It's starting. I can't wait to see what comes next. Rosabella Beauty, daughter of Beauty and the Beast, is a very special girl. She especially loves the beasts. Great and small, cute and... well, not so cute. <laughs> Rosabella, how can you kiss an aardvark? They're so... Ew. All animals are beautiful to me, darling. Ugh, pick these sticks! Professor Rumpelstiltskin gave me detention. Now I have to spin straw into gold all afternoon. Like some kind of... Uh, beast of burden? Yeah, like some kind of beast of burden. So unfair! Just a beast of... <gasps> burden. Pesky! Have you girls seen my squirrel Pesky? He normally meets me after school, and this is so not like him. Calm down, we can help. People, we have an emergency. A beloved creature is missing. <gasps> yeah, I can't. My gecko is missing too. Okay, let's get organized. Break up into search parties. We meet back here at the flagpole in 20. <laughs> Any luck? I tried getting my animal friends to help find the missing animals, but they're missing too. We have to use our heads. Or our noses. Follow me. <gasps> it's not what it looks like.
Okay, it is what it looks like, but Rumpelstiltskin wants 20 bales of hay spun into gold. How was I supposed to do it alone? You've crossed the line, Fable. Creatures aren't your servants. Pesky! Oh, I was worried sick. <laughs> I guess you think I'm a bad fairy. I see some good in you. Well, I see double detention. Your punishment is to clean out the unicorn stables for a month. <laughs> no curses. are the best of the best. Cedar, today we should focus on the true best of the best. Can you snap some pics for the very last chapter of our yearbook? The tri is the sporting event that ends the school year. Here we have track and sheen. And after training hard all year, Cerise Wood takes the championship. Hunter Huntsman is a favorite in archery. Beat that! Best of the best! And the last event of the competition, Extreme Croquet. I am so happy we decided the yearbook should show the most perfect and imperfect moments of the year. Students, it's time to grow our Ever After annual yearbooks. Anyone who wants to witness the planting of this year's e-corn should hurry up to the legacy orchard. <laughs> We conclude with the ceremonial planting of the e-corn, traditionally planted at high noon. The e-corn, please. Apple? Raven? Is there a problem? Nope, no problem. Where's, Where's the e-corn? I thought you, you had, had it. it. Oh, no. We left it on the bleachers. <gasps> I have an idea. Got it. Tell me you girls lost it. It'll be planted in a matter of moments. Perfect. I love it. What a great year. Fine work, yearbook committee. We hope future classes will love reading this yearbook as much as we loved making it. Gather round, children. This yearbook was from a very special class, including the famous Apple White and Raven Queen. It's the most spectacular marsh-only restaurant in the village. Well, you're draining your waste into my lake. Waste? Well, that's the price of doing business, little swan. Raven, something terrible has happened, and I need you to cast one of your evil Duchess, spells. you want me to help you after you made that unicorn poke us all in beast training and care class? Sparkles doesn't poke that hard. So, Dex, <laughs> I really need your help. After you two threw my glasses into a seeing double potion? Whatever after. That was funny. Duchess, the lake is in trouble. Oh, I'll get Hunter. Great, because at first I was like, why would I even ask Ashley? <laughs> Come here! That's the last acorn you'll let me throw! Recording! After the video of the unsanitary conditions within the marsh pit kitchen surfaced, 
Facebook and health officials discovered the Marsh King was illegally dumping his grease in the nearby enchanted lake. And who do we have to thank for all this? It was me. I saved the lake all by myself. Duchess Swan! Remember that name, people? Seriously? Seriously? Like you didn't see that coming. <laughs> They told you everything was waiting for you They told you everything was set in stone But now you're feeling like a different ending Sometimes you gotta find it on your own